Welcome to part number 41 of Gran Turismo 5 Ace Pack. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the Supercar Nostalgia Cup. So, I was in my Red Bull, and I went ahead and got both golds that we missed for the Clubman Cup, so that's good. And the first car we're going to be using is this thing. The Alfa Romeo Giulia TZ2 Carrozzata da Zagato CNAR 750106 for 1965. Now this thing's going to be overpowered, so we got to BOP it a little bit. Sport hards will do. So, on to the A-Spec events. On to the Amateur Series, and the first race takes place at Rome. How do I know this? Because I took a look beforehand. It sounds like a cute little Italian lawnmower. Who <laughs> ran across the keyboard for that name? Good question. I don't know. Oh, it was Fominator. Oh boy, you're bringing back that meme, huh? Aren't you, Andrew? Nice of the princess to invite us over for, di for dinner, eh, Luigi? So yeah, this car is kind of a thing. It's one of those Pebble Beach cars you win from the Historic Racing Car Cup in V-Spec, which was a pain in the ass to do. Because the AI kept hitting the wall at Monaco over and over again, and that race took at least two days to do. Aww, listen to that little horn. That's a lasagna. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Where is that from? Isn't that from an Eagle Raptor skit? Or is that some sort of other meme? Because it was from one of the Eagle Raptor Sonic skits, wasn't it? You know what they say, all toasts, all toasts, all, all, all toasted does toast? Is that what he really says? Oh, yes, it's from um, the one of Gamelon, right? Oh, Link Faces of Evil, okay. The only one that I know is the one of Gamelon on CDI. Jeez, the CDI was a thing, wasn't it? It had like, what, 10 games and like 100 interactive um, educational tools? That's mainly what it was meant for, supposedly, the like gaming, but that's all we really got, honestly. You know your system sucks when the Sega CD puts it to shame. always been kind of a shit company to be honest like I don't know yeah that mirror is actually pretty fast in the straight uh, straight line but we have the lightweight and nimbleness in order to go through the corners much faster because reasons one of the best PewDiePie videos yeah I don't even like PewDiePie to be honest I've mainly heard of um, the CDI games through the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd back in the day. But I forgot about Link the Faces of Evil. Okay, Fabinator, I'll make sure I watch out for the Mira CBN 5864374. I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> I have to focus on winning the damn race.
Only I can defeat Ganon, huh? What if I don't wanna? Oh shit. Did I ever say he was terrible, Barney? I said I don't like him. Never said he was terrible. Unless I did, which... I don't remember. Well, yeah, of course they do. He's the biggest YouTuber, unfortunately. Okay, so that's the first race down at Rome. <laughs> TZ2 Virgin versus Mira, Chad. Yeah, the, the, the sub to PewDiePie thing, it pisses me off more than anything because it's like, all the kids that come to every channel to just say sub to PewDiePie, it's just like, does the guy really need any shilling at this point? He has the biggest channel on YouTube, like, who cares? T-Series or PewDiePie? T-Series, just because I, I don't like PewDiePie. Anyway, Shelby Cobra's the next car we're gonna use. I mean, it's the Shelby Cobra CN.3.145... 3.141592653539. I fucked that up. I was gonna act like I knew what Pi was, but I went on Google on my phone. Try to look smart here, but as usual, I just come off looking as stupid as usual. Alright, we're trying this again. This Cobra is a definite, it's definitely a handful to handle around Suzuka. At least I have more experience with the car now. So that should help us in the race. Then again, a Cobra and Suzuka is probably the worst combination. Up to third gear in the S's. Let's avoid wheel spin at all costs because I do not want to lose this race again. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Imagine Chicane moving and raging. Well, that would just be a backmarker driver in any series that has anger issues. Be nice and easy, be gentle, around spoon. At least the leader is in my sights now. Previously, we spun out in turn one in the first attempt, and we're all the way down in 12th making moves to get back to the front of the field. Ah, uh, that's my fourth time through 130R. Still couldn't make it clean. Kind of clean first lap if 130R was more successful and not cheesed, but yeah, this is definitely a car you gotta treat with tender love and care, otherwise, it's gonna bite you hard. Mira is, uh, like, okay, this is the opposite effect of the um, Alfa Romeo, where it's, this car struggles in the corners, but on the straights, it's a monster. The Mira is better in the corners than we are. Because every time you apply throttle, the car just wants to oversteer. It truly is a handful.
that's American Car 3 pretty much and Muscle Car Baby. Yep. Especially of this era. And the next car we're going to use, it shouldn't be as bad as the Cobra, but it will probably be a difficult race as well. But we will see. Only time will tell. Hey, what's up, Abstract? Yeah, pretty much, Arthur. Oh my god, we were doing kind of like a tandem drift through 130R. Well, did you hit the bell icon even though the bell icon doesn't even work half the time? Alright, well... Now we're leading. Not quite as exciting of, of a final lap as it was previously, but hey, screw it. Of course I have the bell on, yeah. That's why I was mocking YouTube. And YouTubers, because it's like, well, shit. The bell icon doesn't work half the time. Oh, it doesn't notify live stream. Yeah, look at that mirror closing in. Are you serious, CK? That's so bad. I know it took a stupidly tight line, but I didn't really want to. The car just kind of went wide on me, and I just kind of had to stick with it. Nothing I can do. But once we get to the straightaway after the spoon curve, I think we'll be good. As long as we don't fuck up 130R. And I think out of every attempt through 130R in these two attempts of this race, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the clean run through there. With this car. There we go. Nice and clean. Sort of. Well, we got a little bit of wheel spin, but hey, that's totally okay with me. So once again, just nice and easy on the throttle on exit. Let's go up to third gear for safety reasons. That mirror's coming in hot, but we should be able to outrun it, and there we go. We win a Suzuka. Not a hard race, but man is this car a handful to drive around here. And those poor interceptors all the way in the back. Poor Jensen Healy's. Anyways, 14,000 credits, more XP. Let's save the replay for Suzuka because we used Rome for B-Spec for a thumbnail. Oh nice, how much you get it for? The only difference is that I think the PAL region ones have better load times, to be honest, because whenever Cat Cool streams his game, his game loads instantly. Mine's, on the other hand, no, it takes forever, even with installing it on the hard drive. Alright, final race. Mazda Racer Laguna Seca, and... I'm gonna use this thing. The Shelby GT350R. Okay, it's on sport tires, which is good. Five euros, so maybe seven dollars and fifty cents, probably. I don't know. No, nah, probably less than that. Probably like six bucks. Oh, five sixty-two. Okay, so that's five dollars and sixty-two cents. 
All right, trying this again. So, didn't have enough time to catch the mirror at the end. Sound of TMZ destroying everything. Well, the only reason why you can hear my chair moving around and stuff is because, like, the filters on OBS don't work anymore. Like, my settings were just... My settings just stopped working all of a sudden. Probably because I upgraded... Or I uh, upgraded... I updated OBS. And, yeah, man, my, my filters for my microphone just stopped working and I cannot figure out why. It's really annoying. Yeah, USA doesn't beat Italy. Well, the Kuntaj is now leading, which is good because he's pretty much bait. That causes the sounds of Italians celebrating. Was it an old sticker abstract? Because sometimes when the sticker gets old, obviously the residue... I don't know, the residue would let off a uh, pretty funky smell. Like the stickers that we used to use on... Um, at, our, at the video game store I used to work for, not GameStop, but a small mom and pop shop, they kind of had that weird smell as well. Oh, it's the case. Oh. Okay, in that case, I don't know. Yeah, we need more of Wang. Not enough Wang means not enough horsepower. Not enough horsepower means not enough victories. Yeah, here comes the Mira. Uh, we're gonna have to Zanardi it. We can get him in the final corner with a semi clean overtake. Like that. Yep. Small bit of contact, but Robin is racing. Oh, he's coming. Trying to find a way around me. Nope, you're not gonna do it. The mirror is now coming for the Kuntash. Easy, easy, easy. No need to get oversteer. Oh shit, both of them are like neck and neck. Gotta go a bit defensive. Yep, he did some light breaking. Dude, look at them side by side. And the mirror's gonna take second. Yep. Now we're in a world of trouble. Gotta be super defensive. Nice, one second lead. Oh. 
Saved it. Saved it. Saved it again. All right, we're good. And there we go, we get it. We get the victory. Yay. USA beat Italy. In color. Colorized, I mean. There we go. That was fun. GT350R is definitely a fun car to drive. Arrivederci or something, I don't know. Or maybe abstract, maybe the, the case or the game isn't authentic. Possibly. Anyways, the car that we win is, it's okay. It's not all that, in my opinion. It's a Dome Zero concept. We could have used this car for the Japanese classics, but it would have been a little bit too OP. Instead, my dumbass used a Subaru 360 for that race. Here it is, Dome Zero Concept. Okay, yeah, in that case, it is authentic. All right. Yeah, that GT Academy sticker is not... E that's something you really cannot... Um, duplicate very easily. You can, but you, you, you could tell if it's real or not. Anyways, here it is. The Dome Zero Concept, the Wedge. Yep, just like Ender calls it. But anyways, next time on GT5 A-Spec, we do the Supercar Festival in the Professional Series. Oh.